We're making a hearty and delicious soup, a squash and lentil soup. And while I love a silky and smooth squash soup, I also think it's fun to kind of keep it chunky sometimes. So that's what we're doing. No blender required. So I start by rendering off a bunch of bacon, removing it from the pan, and then just setting it aside. And you want it to be nice and crispy. We're gonna come back to that later. Then I chop up all of the aromatics that we're gonna use. We have some leeks and fennel, two of my favorites. And I know fennel can be quite strong in flavor when you eat it raw, but when you cook it down like this, it just gets very mellow and sweet and delish. And now for the squash, and I happen to have these cute little honey nut squashes, but you can definitely use butternut. I like to cut the squash in these irregular pieces like this because when it cooks down, some parts will get more mushy, and some parts will stay just nice and tender so that it kind of gives a good body to the soup, a textural difference if you know what I mean. Once our aromatics have cooked down, I add in some tomato paste, Calabrian chilies for a little bit of heat and some lentils. I cook the lentils in a little bit of chicken stock about halfway through and then I toss in the squash. Then I just simmer it until the squash is very soft and the lentils are cooked through. And it should have a nice, thick, chunky, hearty consistency. And I love a fun and tasty topping on a soup, so I'm basically making a bacon gremolata with all the bacon that we rendered in the beginning. It's just parsley, lemon zest, and that finely chopped bacon and I put that all over the top of the soup. Then I also like to serve it with an egg. You can do soft boiled or like a medium boiled like this, and it really uh, completes the whole dish. A little squeeze of lemon on top and you're set.